All right, so I believe, if I'm not mistaken, that at this rate, we've now more or less done everything in here that we were looking to do. Can we hop on this? Like, kind of, sort of. I mean, do we bounce like 10 times our usual jump height? Because we should. As everyone knows, when you're jumping on a mushroom, that is obviously just the, the laws of physics. But uh, I believe perhaps the only thing that we have left is to check out this tower over here. Find three magic beans. Yeah, so that is that where our last magic bean is? Let's just do a quick double check here. So talk to Longlocks, aka, I'm assuming this is basically the equivalent of Rapunzel. So, uh, yeah. As for where we actually get up, I thought we saw that the staircase thing kind of wrapped around in this direction, but I could certainly be misremembering that. I mean, it does seem to drop down here. Like, this looks climbable. Is that technically the way we're supposed to go up? I mean, it, it looks doable. Is it correct? Right, this also looks like... That would be the, the quote-unquote front of the tower, I would think. Yeah, like, that's where the staircase... The actual staircase, not just the rubble, starts. It's over in this direction, so that's probably where we should go. Yeah, we should probably follow the path. Also... I'm noticing that our sword is a little beat up here, so before I forget, why don't we just make a point of repairing which one is it? Is it our, our silver sword that's beat up here? Arendite? How badly? Oh, uh, it's at 6%? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would say it's, uh, it's probably worth throwing a repair or two on that. Do we have any of the 90% ones remaining? It's not often that we use those, or at least not often that there is a reason to have to repair that much all at once, but this is one of those rare opportunities when it absolutely does make sense, so there we have it. Okay, so, Fiona's, uh, uh, you're hanging out with us, right? Like, you're somewhere. Oh, man. Could pull myself up here, and I'll have to make that jump. If you say so, I shall wait down here if it's all the same. Climbing's not my strong suit. Really? <laughs> not your style. Also looks like uh, this person did not fare so well when it came to the whole climbing and jumping thing, so or maybe you're not totally wrong there. And can we, like, just jump that directly? Yes, you can. I mean, to be fair, that is pretty impressive that Carol can do that, so, like, I don't blame you. can't also... Okay, I think he has a head there. His, his hair is just remarkably similar to the color of the stone here. For a second, it looked like it was just uh, basically a set of armor and, and no person there, just a bunch of blood, because the head was just like, it camouflage is it. But anyways, let's see what the deal is here. It seems as though perhaps this is the the biggest section, or like the, the most significant section of this whole area, based on how, well, at least reading through the lines a little bit here, um, this may be more or less the point of no return, although... Look at this view. That is pretty sweet. Also, that's interesting, because, I mean, down that way, or further that way, beyond the rainbow, we I'm pretty sure know that we can't actually go that far. But see that, now there's still, you know, like, elaborate mountains over here where we can't go. There's those buildings, like a castle over there as well. That's interesting. Okay, just getting a little nervous just by how close to the edge Geralt's insisted on walking there, but, uh... Okay, so do we go in this way? Or there's this little hole, or do we continue to platform? Can we even go through here? Uh, it seems that we can't. Yeah, we can. Is this, like, one of those situations where there's a hidden something over here, like a bonus you get from, from going to the optional area? I mean, it doesn't look like there's much beyond that. I also just don't trust myself to make that jump. Um, and uh, in case it's not clear, yeah, I'm pretty sure if we fall from this site, we are definitely dead. And then uh, Sianna can go, well, guess you're not much for climbing either. Oh, we can examine it. Hmm. Let's, let's do that then. Hold on. Let's hop back down real quick. Easy enough while we're still here. So just make sure we're going the correct way so we don't, you know, like I said, fall to our death. That would be unfortunate. Just take it nice and slow down the steep little steps here. Just right here. Yeah. 
Huh? Can we? I'm trying to. There we go. Prince's corpse. Tried to free long locks, but fell and broke his neck. And yeah, like I said, it, it almost looks like his head just disappeared to another plane of existence. But anyways, back up we go. Back up the ladder. Yes, very blonde head. You are not wrong. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I feel like there may not actually be anything over there. I mean, I wish there was like a window here where we could just check to doubles. Double check. Um, but it does appear as though at least the... I would imagine the quote-unquote correct direction is over here. Oh, but you're going to continue to make me jump, aren't you? Well, uh, not much up here, by the looks of things. Hello? I feel like we... I don't know. I'm imagining the person we're looking for is on the other side of this door. In which case, let's save just sure we're doing this correctly. I mean, this this is almost like, you know, the area where I was expecting that other quote unquote potential optional direction might take us. Basically, another little area off to the side of the tower. Um, can we get through this door? We can. Oh, wait, is that the one we just went through? No, this is the one we just went through, right? It's where we came from. Yeah. OK, so anything over on the left side doesn't seem like it so i think we're just going through here then and it looks like this just continues to go further up oh um that was darker than expected ah should have known should have known Ooh, ooh, ooh. What did you just do to us? I don't know. But, uh, our inventory here. Let's see. Let us... I'm assuming this is a Spectre. I'm assuming this is a Spectre. So that means we should probably put on some Spectre oil. So let's make that happen. Okay, and we did just repair our sword, so that's good. Then in terms of potions that we want here, what... Do we like? Let's just double check what we have equipped at the moment. In fact, we only have one, or we have an empty spot at the moment, so we should put something in the other spot. So we have attack power grows in the course of the fight until reaching maximum threshold. I do generally like that for boss fights, assuming it's going to be a long fight. So that, I think, makes sense to keep. Other than that, I think we've done ones for leeching life back when we deal damage. Each foe slain. Nah, that's better for when you're fighting numerous enemies. Single hit drains more than third of vitality when shields activated. I mean, it's not a terrible idea, but... Also, remind me how much, uh... Toxicity? This is 70%. And didn't we... Hold on just a second here. We upgraded our maximum toxicity, did we not? What is it right now? Remind me. It is... No! We must have... Only temporarily put that? Now it's back to just 100? Okay. So that means only one of those big potions, at least simultaneously. So that means we're probably looking for something smaller here to complement our 70% potion. So other 70s, not the best in this situation, I don't think. Yeah, not a huge fan of the whole damage taken. Presumably we are going to get hit by this boss that we have never fought before because we don't know what it does. Uh, I don't think it's cloudy weather. Mm, uh, killer Whale, that's definitely what we're looking for, right? No. Critical hit chance, I mean, it's not terrible, but I think we could probably do better than that. This is another one that I think we've used in the past, the Ekimara decoction. Could potentially throw it on, just to activate it when if slash when our other potion expires. But it's another 70% one, so we can't do them both at the same time. So, I mean, it's an option. At least for the moment, why don't we throw it in our, our empty spot there? But like I said, I think for the most part, 
probably would prefer to get something that only costs like 20, 25 toxicity instead. That way we can actually use it. Well, let me actually read these. Mm, and that's also like, eh, it's pretty gimmicky, but theoretically could potentially work. If they hit us really hard. Golden Oriole is one of the ones that has that low toxicity, although I, I thought I might have seen that in that brief moment that we saw the boss attack, it had some kind of like vomity attack that might have poison. I don't know. Possibly. I don't. I mean, there's a chance it's just completely irrelevant to have something like that on. Stamina regeneration. Maybe. I mean, it's 20%, so that, that could work. Do we start taking damage at 100%? Or is it only if we exceed 100%? Because obviously if this is 30 and our other one is 70, then that gets us at exactly 100%. Uh, then Blizzard. I mean, Blizzard also works. Why don't we throw that on instead? All right, here goes nothing. I, I threw one of the potions on. Uh, no, I actually ate something instead. Uh, what, please stop hitting me for just a moment. I'd like to activate all of my potions. Thank you. Now let me pick you up, please. Oh, that was supposed to be a parry. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> oh, that looks bad. That looks very not nice. We whirl to take all these guys out. Oh, she's healing. I don't like that. That's not good. Unfortunately, she is very squishy. Okay, again, whirl. Heals very quickly during this phase as well. Our damage does seem quite good. You now, even if she's hitting us pretty regularly, not too much of an issue. Yeah, I did notice that. I did notice that. That was uh, kind of the first thing that uh, caught my attention there. Um, yeah, that was uh, pretty nasty, but I suppose as soon as... We walked in and saw it that uh, there's always a chance that something along those lines was going to end up happening. Let's see, we gold ball, golden thread. The actual loot from her directly. The type of stuff we tend to get from wraiths. Not terribly surprising, I suppose, in that case. But uh, I imagine we'll find our last bean right there. Just to make sure we're not missing out on anything. Like, wait, can we check this? This might be our way out once we're done. Um, ooh, 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 Carol's uh, not so fast there, buddy. Oh god. I thought we were gonna be stuck there for a second. Alright. Yeah, there's our beam. Yellow beam. There it is. Would have stumped to climb all that way for nothing. Yeah. And, you know, fighting the boss, what have you. Although it was. You know, the boss was pretty weak, at least from a, a life slash defenses standpoint. But, uh, you know, if we weren't as high level, then that could have been an interesting one. Yeah, so, um... I am kind of... <laughs> no, <laughs> we shouldn't. <laughs> we should... Uh, or actually, I mean, there's the, there's the slimmest of chances that if you jump out there, you, like, land in the water and you actually survive. That's not really a chance that I feel like taking right now. We can jump out there and we did miss something. Okay, let's let's use our actual Witcher senses here. Like, can we examine the body directly? No? Okay. Ooh. Now that's a door we're seeing through the cracks. What about here? Magic food? What happens if we eat magic food? Hold on. Magic food. Oh, we do have a lot of this. Okay. I mean, it looks like it's functionally the same. I don't remember if we tried that or not. Some of the stuff we've eaten here has been, uh, well, a little different. Yeah, this is still glowing. Oh. Hold on. Huh? Aha. I see. Is this part of one of the myths slash fables? Is there some, like, replenishing food thing? Because if so, then I'm not familiar with it, but uh, that is clearly food that keeps on coming back. <laughs> I 
is that I mean like it's it's most basic sense like obviously you know it's magical but it's just is there like a specific fable or myth that, that comes from because like I said I guess I just don't if if it is I don't know it what happens if we're standing on it when it tries to do that does it still come back it does huh interesting <laughs> Looting impulse will keep us here forever. Yeah, we could quite literally stand here for the rest of eternity. We will never need food again. In fact, out of curiosity, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting. Does the does do all the items that we pick up here in this alternate reality carry over once we do eventually get back to the quote unquote real world, or are they things that exist on this plane and then? disappear as soon as we teleport back, in which case, you know, all of our magic food and what have you goes away. If not, then, you know, the magic food, the magic food does have some value. So quite, we could just turn around and sell like a hundred of these to a shopkeeper. And, you know, they say money doesn't grow on trees, but on this occasion, it does grow from tables. But no, we'll move on. Just an interesting thought. Alright, so uh, let's save here. Apparently, possibly, maybe we can jump down from here, but just in case. Um, I mean, that doesn't really look like we're landing in the water if we go straight down. It kind of looks like we're landing on this little island here, in which case you know, we're definitely taking astronomical amounts of fall damage and just instantly dying. But uh, if we go like slightly more to the left, it looks like maybe we have a better chance of actually landing in the water. But anyways, Geronimo! Now Siana's all intrigued. So, got the bean, but long locks. Mm. Seems she got sick of waiting for a knight in shining armor. Can you blame her? Men these days, dandies and fops all. That why you cozied up to a vampire? I mean, it's Dead not like you were willing to go up a tool, the tower. And only a tool. Too bad he didn't know that. Oh, that's I pretty hard. No Learned that long ago. Now it's his turn. That's pretty hard. Hmm. Did you really aim to use him from the start? I don't think I believed you on that one. That seems like, you know, I think... You both genuinely had feelings for one another. Maybe, maybe you had plans to use him from the beginning, but then I get the sense, at least at some point, some feelings between the two of you developed, and not just on Detloff's side, even on Siana's side. And so I think maybe, you know, as a way to sort of justify it and, and make herself, protect herself, she sort of got defensive and, and is currently being defensive and trying to give off this veneer as if, she isn't actually, she doesn't actually care about Detloff. Um, it's just a, a way to distance herself from him. To use him, was that your plan from the start? No. At first yeah. I was simply intrigued. Do you know the story? Not really. It was in Matina, a few years past. I'd gone there to pass some loot off to a fence I know. We were hashing out the terms when in walked Detloff. He said he'd come to sell a silver candlestick. He gripped it through a cloth. That caught my eye. <laughs> I followed him out, observed him from a distance, but he caught on quickly. Yeah, superhuman senses will do that. He turned down a blind alley. I followed. He jumped out from behind a crate, baring his teeth. I suppose he'd wanted to frighten me. Alas, he didn't in the least. After all, I'm a monster too, am I not? Eh, uh, not really. Uh, let's see, is this the... No, this is a different question. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, you try to make it sound like you were completely unfazed. I mean, let's be honest. Deadloff is... Sure, you may, you may have been intrigued by him, but I mean, he's still a dangerous, powerful vampire, and if he just led you down a dark alley and then surprised you by jumping out of Creighton Bar to seat at you... You'd at least be a little bit surprised. <laughs> uh, you're not fooling me for a second. Make it sound like, oh, no, I just stood there completely stone-faced and didn't react at all. 
A higher vampire and you were unimpressed? Don't know if that's brave or just plain foolish. <laughs> I've always had a way with ostensibly dangerous, quiet types. That's supposed to be about me too. Yeah, it kind of sounded like it. I hate to disappoint you, Garrett, but your belly button is not the center of the known world. <laughs> oh, you do remind me of him a bit, stifling all emotions inside you, ever feigning indifference. You see, when I met Deadlock, <laughs> she got a little carried away there. Somehow I knew, call it intuition, that he meant me no harm, that he was trying to frighten me off, for he too was scared. Now, do you understand? Looks so shiny. I guess. I don't really care. I was just distracted by her cape. Uh, so yeah, what happened next? What happened then? We talked, then met up once, twice, three times. Enough that he became infatuated. And I think you did too. I truly enjoyed it at first. Yeah. But only at first. He did not love like a man, but like an animal, madly, deeply, unconditionally. Wildly. Okay, now you're getting a little bit too much Turns information here. Anyone would be hard pressed, let alone someone as twisted as I am. So there came a day you just up and disappeared. Yes. Sounds like you just have commitment no issues, to be honest. <laughs> Let's just be friends. Or I don't deserve you. He'd never have understood that sort of thing. Yeah, so you just left and didn't I say anything, which is turn, clean up some far worse. Cares, I remembered him and concluded he could still be of use. Playing with fire, that. Definitely. Yeah. And either I'll get burned or I'll burn all else down. No other options. Uh, I mean, let's be honest, both of those things are kind of happening right now. So, uh. Uh, what? I guess I'm not super clear on what this is referring to. Are we talking about right now? Saying that she may not be afraid to meet Detloff? Or are we still talking about back then when she first met him? Because we already talked about that. I assume this is more referring to, like, Right now, assuming we can get out of this place, which should be okay to confront him because Detloff basically said, hey, I'm going to continue waging war on Toussaint until she shows up. Got a history with Detloff now, so this meeting will be different. Not afraid. I can handle him. Mm-hmm. Sure about that? Uh, you said it yourself. A witcher and see he's a uh, I, rather I animal-like. Really like. You needn't worry. It's time to go. Just a bit more work, and we'll be able to say sort off to this fecking fable sphere. Watch your language. Now All right. Now we must plant them by the path near Longlock's tower. Then we prepare to meet the giant. Oh, the giant. Of course. Uh, we did just level up. So let's maybe just take a second here. And... As for what we were planning on doing, I think we were starting to put some more points into protective coating. That might have been another reason why it felt like the boss was not hitting terribly hard was because as we start to put more points into this, I mean, this will start to add up quite a bit, I think. As long as we can get the right oil on, which we should be able to do, assuming we have at least a modicum of information or decent intuition as to what type of enemy we're going up against. So yeah, let's, let's upgrade this again, I think. Okay. And just to check on, I mean, we've done a lot of things for this quest, right? But, let's see. Land of a Thousand Fables was an extraordinary place. Now, it was also extraordinarily dangerous. For Artorius Vigo's spell, cast many years earlier, had begun to degenerate, causing the, the uh, change and grow wild. This was the result of something called magic entropy. The world's fairy tale characters had grown unpredictable and aggressive. Something the Witcher got a taste of soon into his adventure there. Despite these difficulties, he found Siana. The Witcher and the Duchess's sister now shared a goal. Both trapped in this magical land, they needed to find a way out. They joined forces. Siana knew the exit from the Land of the Thousand Fables lay hidden among the clouds overhead. But their first task was to find magic beings that would help them ascend. And we now have those. A boy named Joss would know where to find the magic beings, yet Joss, who obviously who obsessively cried wolf, was known by all to be a pathological liar. He proved hard to pin down, for his convoluted clues were the exact opposite of the truth. By Joss's reckoning, the red bean had not been swallowed, but the one who had not swallowed it was the most human -y human in all the land. The blue bean, on the other hand, lay out in the open, watched over by nobody times three. The yellow bean, in turn, could be found deep underground 
a bald farmhand, its guard and keeper. Hmm. So that, that's the one we just got, and that's interesting. So obviously, instead of deep underground, it was high in the tower, and instead of bald farmhand, it was a uh, extremely long-haired princess. And ghost. All right. But nothing that uh, immediately talks about the, the stuff that we're about to do here. So let us apparently plant the beans here. Oh. All right. Well, uh, hold on a second. We got some pixies to take care of here. Oh, that was a cool roll, dude. Look at their roll. Hell. Also, hell. Rude. Very rude. I think we established previously that Siana, although apparently trying to help, this is not actually hurting anyone. Pull out the bees. Oh, uh, hold on. Where did you come from? Are you always there? A random unicorn showing up behind. Careful. It's armed and dangerous. It's just—it's following Siana, no matter where she goes. It seems. Was that just a coincidence? I don't know. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, and we can also nab some extremely heavy four-leaf clovers while we're at it. Um, does it matter specifically where we put this thing? Also, I kind of want the clovers or whatever there. Here? Yeah. Um, I mean, you're pointing me over here. But like... Is there a specific spot? Ah, here we go. Alright, let's plant the beans! Wait. Hold up. Why? This stalk will sprout abruptly. Very abruptly. We must be careful. Yeah, don't lean over it, Carol. It'll smack you in the face. All right. Toss them. <laughs> now that she's taken cover. Run! Fire in the hole! Maybe. Possibly. Three. Two. One. Bada boom? <laughs> uh, maybe not. Now, as soon as we walk over to it, they're gonna like, explode. Uh, something's always gotta go wrong. The home stretch. Easy. Well, Sion, I know you said you're not much for climbing, but uh, I'm afraid you may not have a choice here. Alright, we had our own unicorn, that's true. Right, just when we thought her cape couldn't get any shinier. Now it's wet and it's even shinier still. Admire the view later. First, we must deal with... That. Him. <laughs> Hello! Uh... Alright, the Cloud Giant. But it's actually, this might be a different quest. Is it? Oh no, it's the same one. Okay. Didn't write as the name, but uh, let's see. So now, presumably this is an Ogroid, I would imagine. So let's throw on, where are ya? Ogroid oil. That and it could even. Our sword still, I mean, it's a little bit beat up, but still doing full damage. It's at least still doing full damage. Just take a quick look at our armor as well. Like, oh, okay. Chest plate could use a repair. Uh, boots a little bit. Ballots. Well, let's throw a quick repair on the chest plate at the very least. Maybe one on the boots too. So uh, chest plate needed what, like forty-ish percent? 
Yeah. And then boots, I think, just needed a relatively small one. There we go. Okay, that should be better. Then we should still have, uh, well, we've used our uh, succubus decoction. It may still be active, to be honest with you, because we fought that other boss so recently. So uh, we might just stick with this. Give it a shot. Uh, what is this guy's deal? Oh, I thought this was the giant for a second. Oh, hello. It does look significant. Um, you know, what with it being metal, I would assume that it conducts this lightning that there does appear to be. Oh, it did hit me there. It did hit me. Sienna? <laughs> you actually gonna do anything here, or are you just gonna chill and pretend to help us out? But either way, this guy is uh, not long for this world. Not really. I told you this land had gone eight mad, though I did not expect <laughs> That's it to be put so it. severe. Can't help thinking you might have done that on purpose. Why ever would I have? To get rid of your guard, your captor. Getting close to the exit at this point. Probably think you don't need me anymore. Well, you're wrong. You still stand to be quite useful to me. Is that so? Mrs. Manipulative, I don't trust you. You, uh, I mean, given, given how she was just talking about how, uh, you know, I was just there to use that luff. Didn't actually care about him. I mean, whether or not we actually believe that, it at least certainly reflects how she is uh, very much a manipulator, looking to find ways to uh, bend people to her will and trick them into doing things to help her out. So, uh, yeah, you know, Geralt raises an interesting point there that uh, perhaps... Just helping her escape may not be the only thing that she wants out of us. I mean, or at least once we've done that, she may be looking to actually dump us. And by dump us, I mean actually kill us, as Garrett was just implying. Uh, it's just you get out of here, so let's go, or useful... Nah, I'm, I'm curious if she'll divulge any details. I mean, I don't necessarily think she's going to be telling us very honestly, but we can try. And follow the little light after the dialogue? Okay. That's so? How? Plan to use me like you did, Deadloff? Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. I need you for a purpose far simpler. Well, don't just stand there and stare. I need a man, Geralt. And I'm not afraid to say it. I have no idea what awaits me once we leave this place. Treat it as my last wish. Um, I don't know. <laughs> the phrasing. Oh, God. The phrasing. Oh. <laughs> That's, uh, that's one way to put it. Um, but see, the thing is, like, we're kind of, we're kind of taken, you know. We're, uh, we're basically, I mean, we're not, like, married to the end, but we're, we're, uh, we are a faithful, uh, companion and partner to Yennefer, and we are a fatherly figure to Ciri, and were we to be unfaithful to Yen, disloyal to her or Ciri, that would reflect poorly on our our uh, our values as a a stand-up family man so uh sorry Sienna, but maybe some other time another time another place maybe no offense none taken you spoke clearly you spoke honestly it's fine also, yeah, you know, you, you clearly, you, you weren't exactly selling yourself very well earlier when you were talking about how you're manipulating everyone and you don't actually care about relationships and what have you, and you're just trying to use people. Come, the exit's this way. You know, that's generally not a good way to, to get people to be interested in you. In fact, quite the opposite. <laughs> Had you not done that, then, you know, your chances definitely would have been higher. All right, so we're gonna follow that light, but I also wanna make sure we have the chance to loot this guy. Rate of red mutagen. I mean, it's something. So, well, it says follow Siana. At the moment, Siana is seemingly going the same direction as said light. So, not sure if that's ever going to no longer be the case. Another will of the wisp. Oh. Okay. This also feels like we should probably save here. Maybe worth Googling that scene later. Yeah, maybe I will. 
But uh, I think just for, for what we're looking to do with our Geralt's, I think it's inconsistent with... with uh, okay. Down here? Okay, no, it's definitely going in a different direction now. Definitely in the opposite direction of Siana. It's leading us somewhere. Question mark? That's a sword. Yes, Chef. Huh. Don't recognize the name, I don't think. This feels like it could be a reference to one of the swords from uh, The Witcher 1 or 2. But that is very high base damage. Very high. And uh, obviously very solid sign intensity for all the signs. And so again, the question arises of just how good is Erendite really? It has those other things going for it above and beyond its base damage. It's all each blow generates charges, increasing damage. Killing a foe with fully loaded sword will expend its charge to permanently increase the weapon's damage. Damage is increased, although not at its maximum level here. So, like, is it actually better than Arendite? Or is it uh, that those additional perks that Arendite comes with are still enough to make Arendite preferable? I mean, Arendite also has the replenishment stuff. Um... So there's that. Reference to a game. Oh. Oh. I feel like. Wait. The name does. I was thinking specifically in Witcher 1 or Witcher 2. But yeah, I don't think it's in either of those. The name, in other contexts, though, does look vaguely familiar now that you put it that way. I want to say, like. And I, I've never played these games before, so I couldn't absolutely be wrong but like Castlevania? I don't know. I don't know. Not sure. I also just walked into the fire but uh huh. Is there anything else over here? Uh, that probably leads to death. I would imagine. Also Geralt is running around like he's holding a sword in his right hand but he, he's not actually wielding it. It's like clenched fist as if he's holding a sword straight, but I don't know. Maybe he's always done that. I just haven't noticed until right now. But uh, can we actually hop back up? How do we get back up? Um, not sure Gerald can make that. Or this. Is there another way up? Climb these vines? I kind of doubt it. Kind of doubt it. Um, was there a different way back up? Maybe we can make this jump, but it just didn't look like it. Now there's that ledge there, but you know, like it's gone boom, in our head. I'm also just thinking that we're likely to accidentally fall to our death here, but we'll jump like a little more straight up. I'm still not act legitimately not sure how we get like a like that. We climb up onto that ledge? No, I don't think so. How do we hear it? This is, I think, a little bit lower. My point stands. And we may be stuck here. Ooh, hoo -hoo. didn't think we we're gonna be able to do that. It is through the cave? Okay. All right, let's take a closer look then. Is there a way? Like, does this keep on going? Ah, okay. This goes back up. I see. That's more like it. Okay, that's presumably death, or that might have been the. Is that the place where we were fight really fighting the uh, the boss just then? Can you, can you, Carol, really? Can you help out? Thank you. <laughs> I 
Can we step on this, or do we fall to our death if we step on that? Because that's... I'm pretty sure we were just fighting the boss. Let's see. Yes, we can. Okay. The whole, like, black semi-transparent floor makes it, uh... makes it kind of look like we might die if we were to step on that and fall through. Just but, uh, curious. fortunately not. Why do you want the heart of Toussaint? They were my right, my Jew. Doubt we would have figured you out if you hadn't tried to get them. Know that, don't you? I do, and I regret nothing. One lives but once. No, oh, really? <laughs> you didn't have to say that. I mean, you did. You did mix up the phrase a little bit. Perhaps makes it marginally better, but uh, you still basically just said YOLO. Anything over here? Like there could potentially be, but I don't think I'm seeing anything. Unless we can hop on that, but I don't think we can. But yeah, I mean, she basically just like, yeah, YOLO. He is not going this way. I mean, it looks like there are other things, or potentially other things here that I'm assuming. I mean, I'm hoping that we can still look around a bit to check, like... Okay, that's glowing red. Usually means that's tied to some kind of quest, and that might mean we're we're jumping the gun there by investigating that, or alternatively, it could potentially be something that we can only ever get if we take it right now, so not entirely sure. That's a dump. More oh, like a mule to me, if I do say so myself. Forgot how big it was. Let's see, is there any just for context, is there anything else in and around here that might fall under a similar category? I mean there's this big doorway over here that I mean I would have thought we would potentially go through. But it doesn't look like Siana wants to go in that direction. It seems as though she wants to go further over here. Yeah. Alright. We can probably take it. Let's do it then. Let's see what we might find there in that case. What is it? Magic gold? What? Huh? Is that... What kind of item is that? Magic gold is technically junk, but it is worth something. All right. Sure. Why not, I guess? Let's see if we can go through here. I mean, I doubt it at this rate, yeah. Since Siana's going the other direction, that makes sense, I suppose. So now let's head on out. Go on, jump in the well. uh, what? Excuse me? I mean, are we gonna jump in this well, maybe? <laughs> I was gonna say, that's a. Uh, Kind of coming out of the blue. Don't just, you know, jump into wells for fun. That's not really one of my hobbies. I mean, we've done it on occasion for we occasional need, quests, jump but... Into the well. you first. It's always us first. We're the ones climbing the stuff. We're the ones jumping in the wells. We're the ones fighting the monsters. Meanwhile, you're just the one telling us what to do and taking advantage of us. I don't like it, Sienna. I don't like it. Whoa! Quite the well. 